Oh, we're in Vancouver, and it's time to go back to South Carolina. See you there. Well, we're back home in South Carolina. This is year one, week 20. Well, we're back in South Carolina, and as you can see, I'm out taking a walk, which has been my normal routine, but we're back from this really big 25th anniversary trip, and it was absolutely amazing. But talking about this whole trend of being less fat, so, you know, after three days in a house on the Hilo coast of the island of Hawaii and then two nights at the Hyatt on Waikiki Beach in Honolulu on the island of Oahu and then <laughs> 11 nights on Ovation of the Seas crossing the Pacific back to Vancouver and then a night at the Fairmont Hotel at Vancouver Airport I still kept up the trend of less fat, which is absolutely amazing. And I'm extremely proud of myself because I kept to those three simple tactics, which was consume less. Well, I'm not gonna bullshit here. I consumed less food but I didn't consume less booze. I drank a lot every day. <laughs> but the second tactic, which is more nutrition, I definitely did that because of course, being on the island and seafood and shrimp and tuna and salmon and all that, I definitely did that. So that was spot on. And then the other tactic, which was just move more like taking these walks I definitely did that whether it was around the house walking down Waikiki Beach on the cruise ship I put well over 10,000 steps every day on my feet so good morning. good morning so 
I really, really did, did good. So I'm very pleased. So, but then this whole, you know, conversation that I've said on previous weeks, which is, you know, we put ourselves in our own moods. So, and I think the stress that we put on each other does that a lot. So, so we come back from the trip and we notice that Maggie, our, our little dog who you've seen on previous vlogs, we noticed that her, her breathing was real shallow and very, very quick. And then the day after we got back, she had three episodes where she was like, I was having like an asthma attack. She was <gasps> like that. And so got us obviously concerned because it's completely different behavior. So we took her to the vet after x-rays and clearly some dollars later, come to find out she's in congenitive heart failure. Uh, she just got a lot of swelling around her heart and her lungs or her heart and her lungs are basically just competing for space. So after some injections, she's now on medication to improve and prolong her life, but uh, that'll probably be a, a tough weekly vlog when, when the end comes there. So, but she's doing great. I'm actually turning around now for my walk to walk back. And so we've already seen a dramatic improvement in her in her breathing um, and it's really just her resting breathing so that's really cool so we're really excited about that and then come to find out our best friends John and Ruth John years ago before a sailing trip he actually had a massive heart attack good morning he had a massive heart attack and had to have open heart bypass surgery and of course now he's rebuilt and everything then come to find out now Ruthie <laughs> she didn't have a heart attack but she just been feeling like shit from what she says so she goes to the doc and then she finds out she actually has to have exactly the same thing that John had years ago she just didn't have a heart attack yet so Thursday that's next week in week 21 she's having open heart bypass surgery so probably in the future there'll be a a vlog from Las Vegas because we'll go see them so but what do these stories about Maggie and, and Ruth have to do with like what I'm talking about well what I'm talking about is is the stress these are just events that are happening in the world whether it be, you know, Maggie or whether it be Ruth or whatever it be anything, we determine our mood, our reaction, our stress level. We do that to ourselves. Of course, unless it's like the physical world, like I'm out here walking in the trees and if a tree falls on me, then it's kind of an involuntary response that, that that's really gonna hurt. <laughs> so, but our emotional, our mood, our emotional state is what we choose to do with that based on the information that we get. So obviously is there concern about Maggie? Absolutely. Is there concern and risk with Ruthie? Absolutely. But the thing you gotta ask yourself is that when you get mad or upset or whatever your mood is just stop for just a moment and just ask yourself how does that help 